you've ever found yourself struggling on a defensive end, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll be diving deep into some lockdown defensive tips that can help you guard anyone on the basketball court. Defense is not just about guarding your man, it's also about protecting the team. We'll discuss the principles of help defense, including when and how to rotate to support your teammates, and understanding the key areas to cover and communicating effectively can make a massive difference in shutting down opponents. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on any of our basketball tips and tutorials. Now let's jump right in and find some tips on how to get steals, blocks, and extra points on the court. And the former defensive player of the year at Georgia Tech in the ACC was right there to defend him. Big easy. The foundation of any great defense starts with your stance. Whether you're guarding a fast point guard or a tall forward, your stance is key to staying agile and ready to react. Now let's break down some essential footwork that's going to improve your lateral movement and overall defensive agility. So the first defensive move we're going to talk about is the crossover step. Now what exactly is the crossover step? The crossover step is a defensive move designed to quickly and efficiently change your lateral position and to stay in front of your opponent. It's a go-to technique to counter quick offensive moves. Let's start with the basic footwork of the crossover step. Begin in your defensive stance with your knees bent and weight on the balls of your feet. When your opponent makes a lateral move, push off with your back foot, cross it over in front of your lead foot, and slide laterally to maintain defensive position. Your goal is to stay low and controlled throughout the movement. The defensive slide is the foundation of great defense. It's all about maintaining a low stance, quick lateral movements, and staying in front of your opponent. Let's break down the basics. Start in your defensive stance with your knees bent, weight on the balls of your feet, and hands active. Push off with one foot, sliding it laterally, then bring the trailing foot to meet it. Repeat the process, keeping your movements controlled and your body low to the ground. To perfect your defensive slide, remember these quick tips. Stay low, maintain active hands, and focus on quick lateral movements. Practice is key, so hit the court and work on your defensive slide regularly. Now let's talk about on-ball defense. Whether it's a crossover, spin move, or hesitation dribble, we've got you covered. I'll be sharing some effective techniques to stay in front of your opponent and disrupt their offensive game. Plus, we'll break down the importance of active hands and how to use them without fouling. Defense is not just about guarding your man, it's about protecting the team. We'll discuss the principles of help defense, including when and how to rotate support to your teammates. Understanding the key areas to cover and communicating effectively can make a massive difference in shutting down opponents. So here's a good example to start with. Watch Nicholas Batum on Brandon Ingram. He's staying active, he's using his hands, and he's not fouling. Now Dort, shuffling his feet, using active hands, and having high effort to get the ball. In this next clip, watch Draymond Green defend one of the premier scorers in Jalen Brown. He's staying square to his opponent, hands are in the air, feet are shuffling, he's engaged, and he's not fouling. Here's another premier defender on a top three scorer we've ever seen. He's side shuffling his feet, uses a crossover step to recover, and has active hands to knock the ball of bounds and avoids a foul. Now here's one for you big fellas out there. We have Carl Anthony Towns guarding one of the most athletically gifted players we've ever seen in John Moran. Notice how Cat is using his size and agility to his advantage. He's sliding his feet beautifully and causing Ja to panic to find a bucket. He pushes him to his strong side and finishes with a block. Well done, Cat. And the Clippers lead by eight. I'm gonna call it. Now let's talk about stealing the ball. Stealing the ball requires a mix of skill, anticipation, and timing. One of the keys to stealing the ball is anticipating your opponent's moves. Learn to read your opponent's body language, watch for telegraph passes, and position yourself strategically to intercept the ball. It's all about being one step ahead. Active hands and perfect timing are essential when going for the steal. Keep your hands up and active, ready to strike when the moment is right. Ready to take your stealing game to the next level? Make sure to subscribe to our channel as we've got some dynamic drills to hone your reflexes, improve hand-eye coordination, and elevate your overall ability to disrupt the opposing team's offense. Whether it's intercepting a pass, poking the ball loose, or baiting your opponent into a turnover, these in-game examples will inspire you to perfect your stealing skills. Here are some quick tips for stealing success. 
work on your anticipation, maintain active hands, time removes perfectly, and practice, practice, practice. Wait, look how he beats him to the spot. Beats him, pokes at it, and he's going to beat him to the spot again and then take it. And finally, as we wrap up our discussion on defense, let's take a moment to acknowledge the mental fortitude that separates the good from the great. Kobe Bryant, a true legend of the game, was not only elite in his physical skills, but also a master of the mental game. His unwavering focus, anticipation, and strategic thinking on the defensive end made him a force to be reckoned with. So remember, cultivating a strong defensive mindset can elevate your game to new heights. Keep pushing yourself, stay mentally sharp, and watch your defense prowess soar. Thanks for tuning in, ballers. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to share your favorite defensive strategies in the comments below. Until next time, on and off the court, apply pressure.